Now that we've seen the outside of the compressor, let's take a closer look at the internal components. Inside the casing is the rotor. Rotors usually consist of a solid center shaft with impellers keyed and pressed onto the center shaft. In most centrifugal compressors, rotors are built with a balanced piston installed at the discharge end to relieve the thrust bearing load. Stacked rotors consist of a stub shaft for each end, several impellers, a balancing piston, spool pieces, and other needed parts, all held together with a heavy center bolt. Although this type of rotor is always used in a stacked style, vertically split casing, it can also be used in other types of casings as well. The impeller is the most critical part of a centrifugal compressor because its size, shape, and speed determine the compressor performance. Most often you'll find two types of impellers, closed and semi-open. In a closed impeller, shrouds cover both sides of the blades. On one side, a central hole or eye allows gas to enter the impeller. The closed impellers are the most common and are mainly used in multi-stage compressors. As the gas leaves the impeller, it's forced into a passageway in the casing called the diffuser. The diffuser forms an increasingly larger path for the gas to flow through. Now let's look at how each stage in a multi-stage centrifugal compressor is separated from the next. All the parts that make up one stage of a multi-stage centrifugal compressor can be found on a single stage.